either I have too many hopes to express or too few. Um, my greatest fear is the rise of wall gardens, uh, like for example, in some of much of the survey work we've done in Myanmar, in India, and so on. When we ask people, "Do you have access to internet?" They say, "No, we don't know what the internet is. We don't have it." We ask, "Do you have access to Facebook?" Ah, yeah, yeah, we have access to Facebook. So their perception is that Facebook is the internet, right? For them, they don't understand that anything else exists outside the wall garden. Now the problem with wall gardens is wall gardens are tightly controlled by a few people. They can be influenced by interests that are not serving those of the people and people have no way of disengaging with their data, taking their data to another platform and operating elsewhere. Because once you're locked into these ecosystems, we talk about data interoperability, but the reality is that these ecosystems are so powerful and the algorithms are built so that even if you take your data away, you can't really do much with it. The greater machine has to be involved. <coughs> so my fear is that the internet has long since devolved from this wonderful open space to being a bunch of very tightly controlled spaces, some of them corporate, some of them government, as we're seeing with China. Um, and it's a bunch of very, very tight spaces where what you can do is controlled and norms are set and held by very few actors. And there's very little agency for the people to influence those norms and have an actual conversation with the people running the platforms.